Vectorworks tutorial 10, Wall Styles. You recall this uh, little house, rather cute, uh, from tutorial 9. Um, and I'm just going to unpick it for you until uh, um, we get to what we want, which is just the walls. This is a single story building. I mean, it, it often happens. See, I've, I've, I've got a gable wall here, and I've got a window or something in the wall below it. In fact, the wall below it is different, it isn't always, but it might be. So, we've got a class called Wall Exterior Over because if I look at that in top plan view and a viewport, um, it's going to obscure the wall underneath. So, so bear with me, we'll, we'll it's an idiosyncrasy. Um, this is the best way I've found of. Um, of dealing with the problem, um, so that's that. That gets rid of that. We're going to get down to walls. Well, you can see the walls, and yeah. um, there they are. Switching off the the, the clad timber, uh, we've got we've got rendered finish on block work, so it's fine. So, um, so we're getting there. Um, we can even turn off our structural footings, which you saw last time, and we're really now getting down to a wall. And here it is. It's a passive house wall. Uh, there it is. Look at that. It's got an awful lot of um, insulation in it. And if we turn off the interior finish, which is, guess what, wall component interior finish, you'll see that it's rendered as block work in stretcher bond. Um, and by the way, you can scale that texture so that those blocks are the correct size. We have a blue rendered finish, which is, um, strangely enough, in a class called um, Clad Rough Blue Grey. Cavity block, 400, wood plus blue base. That means that we were going to have um, the wood cladding just lifted above the splash zone. Um, but um, and here they are, there we are, look, clad timber with a space for battens of an inch, rendered colour, 15 mil, block 100, um, function, load bearing, insulation, oh, insulation, block 100, internal plaster and a skirting tile. Um, uh, so, so, of course, uh, this might demonstrate this next point uh, simply enough. So relative to the story, that skirting tile is only 150 high. It does not follow the top wall peaks if I have a gable, um, and this just demonstrates what all these offset um, things uh, are in 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 this zone of of um, control here. So you'll need to get the hang of whether you want the offset relative to the wall. Or relative to the story, whether you want it to follow top wall peaks or bottom wall peaks if you introduce pitched elevation, um, uh, such as in in the, in that in this gable that you're going to see there. If we look at the wall attributes, of course, all attributes are by class, which I'm sure you're fed up with reminding me reminding you. Um, and uh, we can have a little, little look at data. Oops, oh, that was naughty. I haven't put the data in, and so it hasn't um, actually calculated our new value. Why not? Oops, component textures. Yeah, so it's an external wall. It goes into wall exterior block because it's made of block. You can have brick, whatever. It's the more differentiation, frankly, the better. Um, a lot of people can't handle um, the uh, large number of classes, um, which is a shame, um, because uh, you know essentially uh, uh, a, a class is a, is a definition of an attribute. That's what it's for. Um, so um, it is a discipline that you, as we've said before, you you you, you must. Uh, Practice, practice. Uh, I mean, this this wall, for example, has top wall peaks. Obviously, um, you want to see how how that works. You just hit the three D reshape. Um, look at it in in left or front or back elevation. 
um, and, and you'll see, I mean, you can drag these around. It's just very, very simple. Um, you want to drag that, and, you know, there, it's changed. Um, of course, I don't want to do that. Um, uh, and you'll just have to get the hang of these. You want to add a peak, um, you know, you just add a peak, okay. Ping, and it does it. Um, find that wall style, please, and it's locate wall style in the resource browser, and uh, guess what? You know, it's in its folder walls. Okay, there it is. Um, and so we've looked at this already. When you want to change this stuff, um, uh, you duplicate, you know, if you want to put, you know, uh, uh, timber cladding on the inside, just duplicate it instead of having to write it out again. Um, if you want to edit it, uh, change it from a horizontal to a vertical timber cladding. Um, I got it in the classes. The class is clad timber, so I make a class which is clad timber 90. Uh, actually, clad gum 90, you know, that'll change, and um, things like that. So, again, make a class, give it the attributes you want, and use um, all of the components, attributes set by class. Just make another class. That's the way forward, and you can have as many um, um, components on your on your wall. You want to make a bit of washroom. You 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 uh, you add a, you add a bit of um, uh, you, you you can add some tiling. It is brilliant the way um, the way this works now. I mean, I want to replace that style. Um, um, actually, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to look in a different I'm going to look in a different job. Um, browse a recent document or oh, um, browse a recent document I'll just go to one where I know we've got some quite a lot of washrooms so let's open that uh, this is this is just to demonstrate there's a whole lot of uh, wall styles you know and you end up kind of making them just to change the color of the render you know it's is the most efficient way of doing it um, you know this is one which is wash wash so it's got a, a washroom tiled uh, interior and exterior. Here we go. This one is wash red. Of course, it's brick. Well, we do that just for fun. Um, um, oh, tile three hundred. Okay, so there's a hatch in there. Yeah, we can replace that. Okay, fine. Um, and then the replacement. Um, don't replace the heights. Uh, unless you really know what you're doing, because uh, if you replace the heights, you can find, um, especially when you're referencing um, another drawing into a, it, it, referencing another drawing, uh, you can get some rather odd uh, results. So, um, I mean, generally, I mean, you know, actually, in this case, what I really want is the plaster internal to line up with the um, with the with the internal washroom and that will keep the internal dimensions of the of the thing correct and I do actually want it on the right side and the right side right so that's that's replacing it um, so that the size of the room does not change uh, there we go okay excuse my excuse my um, my washroom tiling but uh, so and of course I wouldn't tile it uh, to 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 the gable of wood I no so this is beautiful it lets you control that we just change the change don't follow the top there you go don't follow the top wall pigs um, relative to the story I really only want my tiling to be two one hundred and the bottom offset um, is zero um, from the layer elevation um, because the layer elevation is a finished floor level and I don't want to follow bottom wall peaks and um, so that will then give me um, a more sensible yeah that's it. so there's the room tiling okay um, uh, you can just see down here there is my slate skirting tile we'll come on to window sills and things like that um, another time there is an issue about how um, uh, the, the window, uh, the wall isn't isn't nicely finished where the window is inserted. Um, it, uh, basically, 
you need to set the jam to the wall depth and manipulate the classes so you get the finishes you want. It's a bit clumsy. If you insert, if you make those into a symbol, then you can kind of create a bit of lining um, and a, a bit of window board and, and things like that. But it, it's a bit of a conundrum because partly it's to do with the limitations of the plug-in object. Um, although you know uh, it is great to uh, be able to select all. Um, um, all the windows by object type and class. Um, I don't want to get into this too much now, but um, uh, just to recognise that the, the, there is an issue with that um, for Vectorworks, I think, um, although it probably end up being too clumsy. I mean, basically, it's the reveal, uh, and it, the the reveal isn't there isn't a reveal in the um, in the in the plugin settings. Um, and Vectorworks does allow you to um, to uh, put a cap on that, which you, you, you use your you use your wall end cap tool, and you just kind of drag that to there, and it's supposed to um, make an end cap. You see, in that case, it didn't work. Uh, maybe I did it wrongly. Um, Oh, there we go. No, it's done. It. Hey, hey, third time, lucky. So it's replaced. It, it's made a cap out of that um, timber cladding component of, of of the of the wall uh, build up. Um, quite a quite a sophisticated quite a sophisticated roof. If we look at it, um, yeah, lots of gables. Complicated roof. Um, nice building, uh, a bit pastiche, but then that's what the client wants, and that's what the client gets. Just to uh, just to add uh, something on landscape walls. I mean, landscape walls are really lovely, but they don't behave like walls. Unfortunately, you can't join them. So this is the house in its site. They wanted this. They wanted this sort of entrance gate. Anyway, you see this tapering thing here. Um, well, it's it's a uh, yeah landscape wall. Uh, it's just a shame I can't um, I can't seem to I can't seem to make those two join. They don't join basically. They just don't. Um, and you can get round ones and all the rest of it. If I try and join that with the wall tool, um, wall join. Okay, with the elbow right angle. It's just not. It's not happening. Doesn't want to do it. But the tool for it is landscape wall is here. You put that in your wall tools palette, um, curved landscape wall and uh, bezier landscape wall. Do all funny shapes, but it, what it won't do is join. Um, and then uh, actually, then it won't either. Will it allow you to modify um, 3D reshape? I can't add a peak to that wall. Um, so what I had to do. Um, to make that taper, um, let's take off these copings. Uh, let's see the, uh, the parts I use for, for those kinds of things. Just for walls accessories. Uh, I had to make it into a mesh, so I had to explode it, um, and uh, I, I simply exploded this wall um, just by the uh, command K. I think. Yeah, there you go. And then you've got a bunch of 3D polys. That's right. And then cleverly, carefully, you have to, um, you know, you have to uh, reshape it. Um, uh, it's probably better to do it not by, not by dragging, but by actually re relocating the vertex. Um, just go around, click, click, click. There we are, 1200. Make it, make it 1900. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a better way. Than, than dragging more uh, yeah, I'm sure you know this thanks for watching